and welcome to my channel, Intuitive Envisions 1111. Um, this is going to be just a quick energy update for the Divine Masculine for those of you wanting to know what's going on with him. Um, I, so I just did this pre-reading um, just to make this very quick because I want to try to get out some horoscopes today. Um, thank you all so much for um, subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate it, all the likes and comments. And welcome to the new subscribers. Um, this video is not going to resonate with anyone because I feel like I've got just a specific message for a group of you or maybe it will. Um, but if it resonates with you, um, please like, subscribe, share, comment below. I really, really appreciate it. And when I refer to Divine Masculine, I am referring to energies and not a specific uh, gender. Um, so you can be a, a female and be a Divine Masculine. Okay, so with that being said, let's go ahead and get started on what I have. So first, um, I ask Spirit for the general um, energies of that is supporting the Divine Masculine. And I got nothing is yet in, set in stone, mutable moon. Those are from the Moonology Oracle cards I just got. Um, that is about an energy of shape shifting which means that um, things are happening. Uh, things are also changing at the same time. So nothing is set in stone, but there is a process going on to get to um, an ending. Okay, so at the bottom of that, I had conclusions are, with, are within reach, a full moon uh, eclipse. Okay, so that is definite endings. We do have an eclipse coming up. I believe it's July 2nd. I'm not for sure, but no, it's in the first week of July. So this conclusion could be happening during um, that period, uh, which could be the reason why um, nothing is set in stone yet. But as for the energy that the divine masculine is in, and um, I got the nine of pentacles. Nine of pentacles is, um, is basically the single card. It's about being independent. It's also about um, happiness and transformation, as you see with the butterfly. So he's in the energy of wanting to be single and free, um, being independent. So then I ask um, for messages from the angel answers, the oracle cards. And I got these three, yes, with the exclamation point, a year from now, and then yes again. It's a lot of yeses in here. Okay, so then um, I asked to clarify these meanings of the yes. And I got the, I'm using the good tarot card for the um, clarifying um, these messages here. So um, the 10 of fire is a 10 of wands. So that's definitely about releasing the burden, done with it. Um, so divine masculine is um, currently or already has released a burden. And then I got the seven of earth which is about um, investments and in the future, um, planting seeds and um, uh, meanings in that regards. Um, could have to do with money, could have to do with relationships. And that was clarifying the year from now. So I feel like um, this, uh, with the King of Earth close to it too, I think it has to do with um, money. Some of you, it might actually be within a year because um, a year from now doesn't necessarily mean a whole entire year. It just means that this is happening within the year. So, and the King of Earth here, which is about stability, um, you know, focused on making everything stable in his life or stable relationship. So, I feel like um, he's releasing um, a burden of probably a karmic situation, could be a relationship, could be a job, a person, you know, people, family member. So he's releasing a, um, a burden and I feel like he's investing in his stability um, on the physical plane because um, that King of Earth is right under the uh, Yes card. So um, I asked also to clarify using the um, Gilded Tarot card um, and I got the Three of Wands. Okay, the Three of Wands is about waiting. It's also about uh, moving forward at times. And um, this person, see how they're waiting for their, their ship to come in. And you've got conclusions right here are within reach. 
doing the uh, and with this full moon eclipse here um, also at the bottom of the um, angel answers I got abundance so there's happiness I feel like he's waiting on um, happiness here and he's also waiting on the ending of some type of conclusion which I feel is some type of karmic situation um, relationship and then um, right here you have the two of water which is the two of cups so he's waiting I feel like um, to end um, something so that he can be with um, his uh, true love his soulmate could be a uh, twin flame or uh, just divine soulmate because he's in this energy here of being single okay so then after that I clarify the a year from now and the seven of earth and got the hierophant okay you could be dealing with a Taurus here doesn't necessarily mean so the hierophant is about commitments it's also about um, spiritual guidance and paths and um, so with this being with this single energy here and then a year from now in the seven of earth um, and the hierophant I feel like um, there's two messages here one is a year from now some will be um, ready to be in a higher level of commitment for a relationship or within the year I should say within the year and then uh, for some they're already waiting for this happiness and they're going to take it um, the relationship um, they're going to uh, they want to be in a happy relationship with their um, soulmate and but a year from now they might get married like this this uh, relationship might go to a, a higher a even higher level um, then after I got um, the three of swords which was under the yes and this uh, king of earth you could be dealing with earth sign um, Capricorn Virgo or um, Taurus uh, which you know Taurus is present here so this could have to do with Taurus but three of swords is about um, separation um, heartbreak and um, you know pain and so with these three cards here like this and the hierophant in between um, this divine masculine is waiting on uh, ending a separation so I feel like this has to do with a committed relationship uh, a marriage um, and they're waiting for this conclusion to end so that they can go and forth and be happy with their soulmate and this is keeping them up at night they're losing a lot of sleep they're thinking about this they're just in a lot of despair over over both the relationship ending but also on them being able to start their new life because they are in this energy of being uh, single and happy okay so that's what i have for you guys um i hope this resonated with you so if it did please like subscribe or share comment below i would really appreciate it Thank you all so much for watching. Have a good day or night, whatever it is, wherever you are. And until next time or next video, peace, love, and light.